So if I am looking to hire a link building agency for my off-page SEO for my website, what are some questions that I should be asking? So first and foremost, you should definitely be asking it some questions um, to make certain the link builder agency is the right choice mm -hmm. um, for yourself. I'd say the first part would be the ethics. Um, are they like a black hat link building agency? Are they a white hat link building agency? Um, what type of links and stuff like that they're going to be building? So the first question would be going down the road of, like looking at the strategy and compliance and the ethics of who the link building agency is, what what would you go down the road of asking? I think what, one thing that I see a lot of is there's a lot of link building agencies that have like a one size fits all. Now, say for example, if you've got a gambling website, you might need a lot more links in comparison to like a local plumber. Um, so looking at the actual strategy that they actually present to you um, at the beginning, because again, you, you can have 10 websites that have 10 different link building approaches. Yeah, for sure. I mean, another one that you could be asking your link building agency that you're going to be trying to work with is obviously the costs and the prices involved. Um, is there any discounts available if you're going to be ordering in bulk or you're going to be ordering it over a stretch of six months or 12 months? Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, as business owners, we all need to be frugal and make certain we're getting the best bang for our buck. Yeah, definitely. Another thing that I would be looking at is, um, you, you've kind of already touched on this, but are they PBN links? Because again, one thing you don't want to do is, is get all the links and then they end up actually having a negative impact. So um, are they PBN links? How are the links vetted as well? So for example, not every single link has the same value. So for example, if you have a dog website, and you get another dog website link into your website, Google's going to think, okay, that's pretty decent. But if you've got a plumbing website link into your dog website or vice versa, yeah. it's not going to actually have that much power. So actually checking to see how the, how the links are vetted. Yeah, for sure. Quality control is key. Um, so that, again, that'll be another question that I'm asking the link building company. Um, what quality control measures are you working on? Is it DA from Moz? Is it DR from... Ahrefs, um, are you looking at trust metrics, We're trust flow and citation flow with Majestic? Are you looking at toxicity from link research tools? All these are questions that you want to be asking your link builder agency. So at least you know when you're getting these links, how they are outreaching for guest posts or link inserts or whatever type of links you are looking to acquire. Mm -hmm. um, is it that they're doing digital PR or is it like you said, guest posts, niche edits? Do they do pillow links? Do they do foundational links? Yeah. Do they care about no follow links and do follow? Do you know what I mean? Like, and then I suppose you could then start moving on to, like you said, the strategy behind what is needed. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the quality control measures and the strategy is very important. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything else that you would ask your link building agency? Um, yeah, so like, with guys, back onto the quality control measures, like, um, are you going to try it? What the content that you're going to be doing? Are you going to try and write, write the content so your guest posts are trying to rank? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if they're trying to, in my opinion, if you can try to get a guest post to rank for the keywords you want your money site to rank for, that's the best type of link. You can't get much more relevant mm -hmm. than that, than actual the post that's, um, actually ranking. Um, do they do like a free audit? Um, do, am I getting assigned a, an account manager? Mm -hmm. So like what customer services do they have in place and stuff like that? So, um, yeah, and they're all different questions that you could be asking. Is there anything else that... I think the last thing that I would probably be asking is like testimonials or case studies. Yeah. So if, say, for example, you are a SaaS company, there's a lot of SaaS link building agencies that only specialize in doing link building for SaaS. So you might want to opt in for something more along those lines. If say, for example, there's a link building agency that only does plumbing, let's say, I would be more inclined to go with them. Um, so looking at the actual previous case studies is probably another big one. Yeah, and then test, like you said, alongside the case studies is the testimonials. Yeah. So physically, are you able, instead of it just being a graph of it going up, mm -hmm. Are you able to actually see the website? And then you can go and check it yourself in SEMrush or Ahrefs, just check to see whether the rankings are good and what they're saying that they are. So trying to get real case studies of real websites, if people are willing to show it. And then maybe video testimonials, because there's a lot of fake kind of news and a lot of fake testimonials and a lot of fake case studies as well that go out there. So is there any video testimonials of website owners or business owners that basically turn around saying, when I first started, 
this company didn't just want to sell me do follow links. They understood initially they might have been lacking pillow links or foundational links, and they actually might have needed some naked URLs or branded anchors mm -hmm. and some no follows to start with. And they didn't just try and hit me with 10 grand a month. I mean, another big question I would ask is what contracts are in place? Yeah. Are, are you tying me into a 12 month contract or is it a rolling contract? Because mm -hmm. the best link building agencies won't tie them into long term contracts. They'll be saying, look, it's a long term investment. But along the way, if they can set out the, like the goals of what's going to happen, month one, we're going to do this. Month two, we're going to do this. Month three, we're going to do that. But at any point, if they didn't think it was working, the links wasn't good enough. They can might say, nope, sorry, I don't want to carry this contract on. Some of them are tying them into 12-month contracts, and, they, and legally, they can't get out of it. Yeah. So there's they're some other questions that I'd definitely be trying to, to gauge on when I'm choosing who I think is the best link building agency. Yeah, definitely. So that's been our video on what questions to actually ask your link building agency before you actually hire them. I hope that this has actually been useful. If you guys do want a really good link building agency, make sure to check out searcheroo.com. They actually do provide a lot of digital PR, niche edits, and also guest posts as well. So if you do want a valuable link building agency that you can actually outsource it all to, we, we both recommend them.